is Kelly Kirchberg of Divine Style, your personal fashion stylist. Today I'm sharing with you, gentlemen, the best tips and ways to shop for denim and find a great pair of jeans that really fits you well. Getting the right fit for your jeans truly is key. Nobody wants to have a droopy bottom or legs that look like you're swimming in them in your denim. So the first thing you want to look for is look for a pair of jeans that really makes your butt or your bottom look great in them. Who doesn't want somebody to be checking out their buns? The next thing you really want to look for is what is the right fit or cut that for you to be wearing that really emphasizes your build and your frame and really gives you that slim, long, leg line look without looking like you're wearing pajama pants. So, whether you're out shopping for new jeans now, or you're just replacing denim as they get worn out from years of wear, getting that proper fit, cut, and style can truly be hard to find. The first thing you want to look for is denim that has a higher thread count. So, typically if you're buying jeans from a brand name store, that could cost a little bit less versus if you're buying designer denim costs a little bit more because of the higher thread count. Same thing sheets have. The higher the thread count, the more that it is woven together and that helps the denim truly keep its shape, which is what you want. Versus when you're throwing on a pair of jeans and you're wearing them from morning till evening, some denim can look a little bit droopy, slouchy, and end up getting too big for you as you wear them. So the higher the thread count, the higher the quality of the jeans, and the better that they'll keep their shape when you're wearing them throughout the day. The next thing you wanna look for is your pockets. The pockets on the jeans sit very differently. So the key is to knowing what kind of bottom you have, that shape or fit that you have for your bottom, and then how to look for jeans with the right pockets to accentuate that. So if you have a smaller bottom um, you want to look at or more of an athletic butt, then you want to look for jean pockets that are smaller and a little bit more wider set. So you can look for um, denim that has, we're talking here, is to the size of the pocket, where it's sitting, and then how much room you have in between. The wider out it is, the pockets, the more that accentuates your bottom. The closer together, the more that gives you a slimmer, leaner bottom and look. If you have a flat bottom or not much emphasis back there, um, then look for a wider pocket and that sit more centered. That helps it to look like you've got more of a bottom in your jeans. Really accentuates the butt even if you don't really have a great one back there. If you have a larger, curvier bottom in the back, um, then you also want to look for pockets to make sure that they're sitting proportionally. So a smaller pocket is better. And you also want one that sits um, appropriately as well. If it's hanging too low, it's going to look like you have a really round yet droopy bottom, which never looks great on men. But comparing where the pockets sit really is key as well. A lot of men's denim, the pockets tend to sit lower. So about halfway down your bottom starts the pocket. And then it ends up that the pocket sits or extends here way too low on your bottom, which makes it end up looking like you've got a droopier bottom, or it looks like your jeans are about to fall off of you, even if you really have the right overall fit for them. So really checking out where the pockets sit when you're purchasing denim can be key. An easy thing you can do is take the jeans off of the hanger or off of the table or rack where you're looking at them and then look at how far apart it is from the um, center seam. And that will tell you if you learn to measure kind of what you can do that easily with your fingers, how far out the pockets are sitting will tell you the best fit for your bottom. Okay, the next thing you want to look for is getting that really great fit for that. So if your jeans fit too snug, that's not a great thing. 
but you want to buy jeans that fit really well and almost are tighter on you when you start because that higher thread count, that tighter fit will help maintain the shape as you're wearing them. So it's not to say buy jeans that you're popping out of or that the inseams are bursting. Um, it's not that, but you really want to get that overall snug feel. You should be able to sit down and bend over in them comfortably, yet they're fitting very snug or tightly on you. How you can tell if your jeans are too tight or you're not getting that proper fit is if the inseam is pulling to one side and then you can tell, or if it's giving you what's considered a camel toe, then you can obviously tell that your denim is too tight for you. So then you can try going up to the next size. If the next size is a fit, sometimes that can still give you a little bit off-putting um, in your areas where it's too large then. And that may just be that that overall designer um, for your men's denim just is not a great fit or a cut for you that you're wearing. The next thing when you're shopping for jeans after your thread count and then looking at your pockets is you want to check out what fit overall you're looking for. There are many different types or styles for men and it kind of depends a little bit on your own personal style and then also what um, your body type is. So there's skinny jeans and that has a very, very slim tapered leg on it and it's really meant to emphasize your shape and give you that very lean cut and look that not every man can pull off. That's great for someone who has a really slim build. Um, if you're kind of that same stance from your shoulders to your waist, hips, all the way down your leg line, that might be a great cut for you. The next fit that you can go for is what's called a slim fit. And slim fit denim is great for those who have an athletic build or a lean build. That goes from the waist and hip line and then the legs taper inward. Um, and again, that really gives you that longer, leaner leg line, which slims you. The next thing is the crossover between a slim denim and a straight denim, straight leg denim. So that's called a slim straight jean. Can be a little bit confusing. Um, and that's kind of where you're in between one fit to the next. You're in between that slim fit where you want more of a tapered leg line and a straight cut. And straight cut denim goes, um, essentially that's the same from your knee line downward to the bottom of the hem. So that's how you can easily sort of tell if a jean um, goes inward more, then that is likely a skinny jean or a slim. If it tends to hang straightly from the knee downward, then that would be a straight denim. Then there's our straight leg. There's also relaxed fit jeans for men, and those tend to work really well for those who have more of an athletic or a sort of a bulkier muscular build. Um, gives it a little bit of a looser leg line area if you are emphasizing your thighs or if your thighs are a very muscular or larger area in your body, that's a great fit to wear for you. And then there's also um, men's boot cut jeans and then more of a overall loose fit which works really well for somebody who has larger proportions in your waist, your bottom, your hips, and your legs. If you're kind of built larger in all of those areas, then that may be a more ideal fit. Again, it's just knowing what sort of style you prefer and then how to match that up with what your body type is to really get you that best look. The next thing we're gonna talk about is the color of the jeans. So there's a wide range, as I've got a variety of men's denim up here on the rack as well. But getting that a variety of colors really can be useful. Darker denim is considered to be a dressier style, can work for evening things, great for the office, for business casual or meetings, um, and easily can be interchanged for dressier things. You can even put that with a tuxedo jacket, um, or really kind of dressing up that overall style and look. But the lighter you go with denim, as this pair sort of is, as you get a little lighter, it gets a little bit more casual. 
Then you can also look at different distressing. So for example, this has this in that upper area, kind of your pocket area on your jeans, and that also makes it look a little bit more casual, but also kind of modernizes it versus having one consistent color all the way down through your denim, um, which is something that this has. More consistent color gives it, a, again, a dressier sort of look and style. Um, and then there's distressed denim, which can have rips, tears at the knees, different areas. And again, that depends on what sort of overall look are you going for. I always recommend for male clients that I do shopping and styling for is that you should always have at least one pair of well-fitting dark denim in your closet that you can pull out um, to kind of take you from a dressier type event in the evening, great for business casual and meetings. Um, but something that you can really kind of change up your look and then also have at least one pair of denim That's a little bit of a lighter wash something that you can throw on easily with different style shirts graphic t-shirts You can go out and watch sports in that or go to any type of activity during the day But also it's something that truly fits you well So it's great to have sort of that dressier option and then a casual style too at a minimum in your closet Okay, so the next thing is really understanding when you're looking at the different fits that there are a variety of styles underneath of that. So on this rack now I have all slim fitting jeans, but the leg line differs greatly in these jeans. They're all by different designers. Um, Joe's Jeans, Paige, we have Citizens for Humanity, a variety of different makes here. But when you look at them, there are some that tend to have, again, all slim jean, have a wider leg line, and then some that have a slimmer leg line. Again, that's going down from the knee all the way down to your ankle. So some are more tapered and go in more versus others. So really looking at the denim and not just going, oh, slim fits the best cut for me, but looking at who is a brand or a line that you wear well that fits you well, or shop in store, try on a few pairs, get a variety, um, and then see what's the overall best cut and fit. Then I always recommend that you write that down somewhere or put that in your phone, ideally. That way, if you're out shopping or you need to get something quickly, you'll always remember, I wear this brand and then this cut and fit overall for them truly works best for you. So also understanding what the sizing is on men's denim. There can often be some confusion in that. So sometimes they'll give you a sizing like 32 by 34. So 32, the first number is always your waist number. And then the second number, the 34 that I gave you, that would be your overall inseam. Don't get caught up in what the inseam is on denim. Doesn't mean don't buy it, you're not that height or you don't need that length for it. That's something that can always easily be tailored if you are shorter and don't need as long of an um, inseam. A lot of different stores or different designers do free alterations with that. And you can also um, truly get the best cut and fit of something if you have it altered slightly to your body as well. So the next thing we're going to talk about is um, selvage denim. Do you purchase selvage denim? Do you not purchase or go for non-selvage? So selvage denim means that it has a self-edge fabric. So what that is, it's a tighter, denser weave in the fabric, which gives the denim a sturdier, hard feel. It's a more sort of maybe elegant or refined type of jean um, that really keeps its shape well. It's a little bit more sought after style versus non selvage denim, um, which has kind of a different sort of cut and leg lines. So we're going to show you some examples. So how you can tell if a denim is selvage or not selvage is first what I did is flip over to look at the inseam inside of the denim. 
So this is a pair of non-selvage denim. And how I can tell that is from looking at the denim, and I'm looking here in the inside part. This has a different stitch than a selvage. A selvage will have center stitching down the middle. That keeps that denim in a tighter, denser weave and also helps maintain that shape of the selvage for the inseam. It gives that sort of refined, polished look on the inseam versus this pair of denim, which is just stitched looser on the sides or the seams, the looser um, stitch that can be done by a machine. It's kind of a little bit more of a relaxed overall style for non salvage denim. The next question is, what is raw denim, which I get asked a lot about. Raw, all denim starts out as raw denim, and that simply means that it is unwashed denim. So once you wash the denim, or if designers end up washing the fabric and going through different wares to kind of get that overall distressed look that they're going for to sell that to you, then it's no longer considered raw denim. So raw is basically just that unworn, never washed fabric. The other last tip is, the other thing we recommend is that if you have sort of a difficult time finding jeans that work for your body, is to consider thinking about getting custom denim made. And so when you get custom denim created for you, and there are lots of different companies and designers that do custom denim for men, is that you can choose to get the fabric that you like, you can get the ideal fit that works well for your body, and then choosing the color of the denim that works for you as well. So it's really sort of like how men have custom suits created. You can get custom jeans that are built for you from men's designer denim lines um, that really can give you that ideal cut, fit, and shape and really emphasize your body. Who doesn't want a great pair of fitting jeans? Everyone needs to look great and feel great in their denim, and so that's one option. There's brands like 316 and many others that do that, so you can kind of do some research if you're interested in custom denim. So, to wrap up all of this, we wanted to remind you to really look at the higher thread count in denim, look at your pockets, knowing what your body type is and what style and shapes work well for you, overall fit that you're looking for, and then colors for when you're shopping for new denim or you're replacing what you already have in your closet. So share with us in your comments below how did you find your best fitting pair of jeans? Or you can comment with us any of your denim questions. What do you want to know about men's denim and how can we help you search for the perfect pair of jeans to get that great looking butt and elongate those legs? Don't forget to download our style freebies like we have our ultimate men's wardrobe checklist down in the box below. And of course subscribe to our YouTube channel to get all of our men's fashion videos and segments, our client makeovers, all in your news feed. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next fashion segment.